بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله what transpired at Masjid Abu Bakr in Taqwila is a very shameful and horrible event and without knowing all the details, what is sufficient for us to know is that one of our brothers who was doing security, who has been entrusted by the leadership of the masjid to help safeguard the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, was stabbed in the back by another Muslim after an argument transpired. Without knowing the full details, what we do know is this is a wicked transgression. That those people who are trusted in authority over us, at least in some capacity, whether it's a great capacity, it's the Amir al-Mu'mineen, or it's the uh, Muslim leader of a particular country, or whether it is uh, our elders, our parents, or whoever is entrusted with authority over us, over us that the fact that they are entrusted, not just entrusted by, in the worldly sense, but they're entrusted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because they are a form of authority, not meaning we give total obedience to them, la, but they have a fadl, they have a position, and that position must be respected, and our youth have gone astray and they need to learn respect. So, for someone out of cowardness, cowardliness to go get a knife from their car or wherever they obtain the knife and then go stab the brother in the back who's charged an authority over you because your imam has a your imams of the masjid have a type of leadership over you of course they're responsible over the community and if they have appointed someone to in, who's entrusted to guard the masjid they're responsible for you and your safety and they should be respected Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem وَعَطِيُوا اللَّهُ وَعَطِيُوا رُسُولُ وَأُولِي أَمْرِ مِنْكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Obey Allah and obey His Messenger and those who are entrusted over you with authority. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said أَسَّمِعِ وَطَّعَ لَمَرِّيَ الْمُسْلَمْ فِي مَا يُحِبُّ وَكَرِيَ مَا لَمْ يُؤْمِرُوا بِمَعْسِيَةٍ فِإِذَا أُمِرَ بِمَعْسِيَةٍ فَلَا سَمْعَ وَلَا طَعَ the Prophet wasallam said, Hear and obey the leader. Hear and obey the leader. And that which you love and that which you dislike. As long as they don't command you to do disobedience to Allah. So if they command you to do disobedience to Allah, then there's no hearing and there's no obeying. So, the brother who's entrusted with this authority over you deserves respect and he's accountable for his actions as we are accountable for our actions in the Masajid and other than the Masajid. And we ask Allah the Almighty to give this brother Shafa, to cure him, to raise him up, to preserve him and bless him to continue in his duties and increase him in Iman and in wealth and in khair and forgive him of his shortcomings and may Allah guide our youth and guide them and strengthen them in Iman and bless them to come closer to Allah and learn the respect and set this example for the others